We've got the top eight Tony side. TJ versus Monday. Hulk does it to the Nova. Definitely an irritating matchup from the Nova perspective, unless you get round start throw. That, you know, that makes it a little easier. He can kill off this, definitely. Bringing Magneto to build all the meter, a little bit more damage there, a little bit of reset of the scaling and get Spencer going. Ah, uh, but misses out. Larry blows up the assist, gets crossed up on a super though, but no punish. Way spacing now tries Ooh. to land and go for the throw. That's an easy lariat punish. And TJ with a great jump loop actually fixed that. There's a little jump back, let the mayor do his thing. Here we go. That Magneto should be gone now. Oh no, it whiffed. Magneto gets another chance, and Mundank does the smart thing and gets him out safely here. Oh my god, call that foot, dude. That mine. Okay, does break the TAC though. Oh no, he didn't think he didn't believe that was gonna hit. A triple zip to hit Sentinel. Knew the hitbox was going to be big enough. I like the idea there. Both teams still okay on life, but because of this, had to deal with a cross up. No, he lands and chills. Okay, good punish here from Mundink there. Catch him with the low. Should be able to kill off of this. Okay, getting rid of Hulk, though. I mean, that's the heart and soul of the team. Ooh. Sentinel comes in by himself, doesn't have much to really do. And Hagar, he's Hagar's not catching pretty much anything on this team at this point. I mean, he can. You know, you already know. It takes one good read. TJ still has X Factor. You hit the pulse. Yeah, 100%. Anything you do to block there, as long as you don't push block, because you lock yourself in block stun longer than you need to, uh, he will do something to lean back into the pulse, and a standing hit against the pulse uh, staggers. It literally punishes so, him perfectly. You get anything you want there. He came down with a little chicken guard throw. Didn't even get a chance to super. Here we go, Mundank. Okay, get Magneto in. Hopefully he doesn't drop it this time, though. We can only hope. All right, here we go. Tempest, Spencer should come through. It's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to be close. Hey, Zoop Zoop for the one time. Oh, yeah, he definitely got it. I always think it's going to be close on Spencer with Monday, but it generally never is, man. Never close. Opting for the hard tag, putting the javelin out. Those are a very tame mix up there. Still fine, though. Unfortunately, didn't have a meter, though, so wasn't able to get the guaranteed punish on the hard drive. Twice in a row doesn't get the guaranteed punish. Great Larry from TJ there. He knew the high-low was coming. He said, I'm not going to block him. I'm just going to call Larry. It. Whatever it takes, you got to kill. Mash that thing out. Definitely getting through. Ooh, didn't want to spend the X Factor. I cannot blame him, but you allow Nova to get away for free, and Monday still has the team intact. Applaudable. Good to see you coming in from the YouTube, man. And make sure if, Let's you're go. On, if you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure you guys subscribe. The easiest free way to support the channel. Definitely make sure you come check us out live. We have a lot of funny moments in between games that you guys uh, get cut out. So there's, been a, out. there's been a lot of them tonight, that's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that's true. Appreciate that, uh, the support, guys. Thank you, though. Oh, he's going to try and mix them up here. Okay. Same side. Got the blocks. Here we go. What a block on the H, though. Yeah, looking like it might have been a cross up there, but doesn't quite find it. Mundink doesn't have the meter, so he can't human rock it out, but he's about to build it here, and great throw. The one true option is like, able to get the toss. Yeah, and he should be able to get Hagar out of here, no problem. It's going to be all up to the Sentinel here. One robot. This dude is by his lonesome two meters. Not a lot of Ooh. hope. Almost gets a crazy confirm on the jumping light. The jump out, tried to force X. Here we go again. This time X is offensively. Ducks underneath oh. the jumping heavy. I don't know if that was intentional, but he low profiled that in a ridiculous way. And his confirmed from an air to air light, able to get it with the tri dash afterwards, man. Monday is cracked. Two games straight. Holt has to get started. Tries to go for the DP at round start. Doesn't find anything, but it's a good idea, especially with the way that Monday has been playing 99. Oh, this is a punish. And 
Again, good use of the EM Disruptor, not to get yourself in trouble here. For the M, keep it safe, out to the fly. You see he's looking for the Lariat calls there. Ooh, when you think you have all the drones in front of you and you think you're safe, crouching M is the answer. Absolutely, any advancing low normal like that is so strong against Sentinel. Just it low profiles everything, man. There's nothing you can do about it. Now you lose Hulk for it. Here goes Spencer. All right, yeah, more than that. Same side, all same side. Goes for the super jump. Can't quite get high enough. Wasn't able to push block all the way through. Mash push block all the way through hard drive. You're able to find that throw at the end of it. Looks for the high low. We raw tag out of it. Yeah, I was going to say, man, Hagar is the one Monday has to look out for, man. It's not Sentinel, it's Hagar. Looking for the pipe, got the drones there. Trying to keep him in the corner. That's definitely a good call from TJ here. Oh! Can't get some damage here, but can't be able to get too much else. That one drone connects and looks, yeah, absolutely. That dash up is so smart. If you neutral <gasps> tech there, a lot of the time you can get gripped. That was so smart. He so knew smart. Tempest was not going to hit. Put the arm out there. Able to convert off of it and get Hagar out of here. Super high IQ play for Monday. Links back. Looks for the light on Sentinel. And you can just climb the tree on Sentinel all day, even with that hard drive hitting. I, you know, fine. a little awareness. Oh, great stand light. But that was the first time on Sentinel's incoming that Mundank actually jumped up and tried to medium. Yeah. He waited for the last hit, like the last character to try and do it on the set. Going through with the full animation. Zip, zip, ADK. Nah, just straight into the team super. That'll do it Monday, three games in a row. We'll be able to close that one out. You don't want to play Tony. Like you said, winner's bracket is the farthest away you can be from Tony Killer. <laughs> he also plays that. Who does? But he is going to play it. He is going to be with the Strider. All right, B-Man, we'll see you next week, my boy. Vanilla Scoop, we appreciate you. Just coming through and watching some matches with us. Yeah, thank you very much. To everybody who's always joining us, we appreciate y'all. Appreciate Escalante getting this Morgan going right now, though. Oh, great jam session call, though. Yeah, it's helpful in that spot, but didn't quite get what he was looking for. Here comes the Magnum. It does oh. get the hit. Had the X Factor. Oh, no, Astral was done. Yeah, I think he missed the dash yeah. there and then tried to go Magnum just to see if he could fix it. So this is where you're going to notice that Strider plays dividends in is I feel like Strider does pretty well against Chris, especially when you have Morgan. I mean, that's generally Ooh. the rule when you're playing as Strider is you want uh, you want someone who can convert off of his hard knockdown, but generally. And Morgan doesn't do Morgan that. Morgan doesn't really, it doesn't matter. A hard knockdown is an opportunity to be able to get optimal spacing, and that is good enough with her. Yeah, because it's it's hard dealing with Morgan when you have to wake up in the fireballs. Like yeah. you're blocking 100%. four or five, six of them easy every time. That and no matter what, even if you lose your doom, you still have two assists that it prevents people from just super jumping and completely avoiding your bullet help. Oh no! Really Legend dropped that there. Crystal came out after Stinger. Definitely not the call. Drive super super. Nope, photons always win on the startup because they catch the low. Yeah, I thought he was going to try and go for the DHC into Akuma because I think the beam would have ate it up. Beam probably would have. Oh, good air to air light here. Okay, Spear Flame. Going to get the Astral Vision started. Legend taking the hit. No X Factor, though, so there's a lot of work to be done here for Legend. Damn, assist gets cooked. Wow, but one of those was a Soul Drain, actually. Here's the Super. Goes oh. for the X-Factor, but he maybe mashes it. Gets it more than once. Doesn't matter, though. Cross-up still comes through. That was very sneaky because he did the up uh, dash. Yeah. Got out of the hit. Called Strider just in case so he'd be at frame advantage. So quick. Got them both, though. Uh, keeping it as simple as possible. Finishing Shower for a ton of damage to come through. And even though you don't get the kill, you de-incentivize de him from calling Jam Session, which I think is good enough in this box. That's really the one lifeline he has to be able to try and break through. Yeah, Jam Session's so good, and Tatsu is useless until you get close. Mm. Here we go, Dante coming in low health here. This is looking rough for Legend. 
off the teleport. Look, you saw how patient yep. Escalante was right there. Stopped throwing, throwing fireballs as soon as the path stopped of all of them, and you've seen the teleport off the buffer. Jumps up, gets the hit. All up to the demon himself, Mr. Koki. Fireballs continue to rain. Is able to get the jump over. All it takes, man, is just to get close, two-button tech, and that could be it. We'll block that out. But see, this is what I like about the team swap here with Strider on the back. Escalante has a true anchor with Strider. Yeah, definitely agreed. Okay. One more. Okay, backs off. See, it doesn't give him the space so he can just DP super there off of the X. Yeah, even landing here. Just goes for the dash the perfect timing here. Makes him pop the X-Factor defensively, and now is still able to maintain some amount of offense. And all of the supers, five supers spent from Living Legend, doesn't really find any value from it. Is still forced to block the bullet hell. And and, that, and that's the one thing is like I know Escalante, we all know Escalante's playing Morgan, but how he's playing is pretty surgical and precise right now. Like what he's doing is very, very good. Strider is definitely looking good. It looks like there might be a swab coming though. Okay, we're gonna go back to the stuff. Live by the sword, die by the sword. It, it's it's tried and true, man. You know, legend legend's beaten some Morgans with his team, so he could he has a few to make up, but he can do it. Oh man, more oh, Kuma already taking a lot of hits here. Look at that, that right there, perfectly right where Strider yep. comes in the clutch, man. Wesker just lost seventy percent of his health because he jumped up. And, and that's why Vodra's so good. It's literally like giving you a gift for free. It's oh. like, here you go, Merry Christmas. Look for the projectile counter, unfortunately. Doesn't get him nearly close enough to be able to get any kind of punish. The fireball rain continues to come through. Even with the Akuma assist, it clears out the missiles, but it can't stop Morgan. Can't, man. Just the way he's playing right there, man. Smooth transition from defense to offense there for Escalante, knowing when to attack and knowing when to back off. All of the demon himself, Goki. He's gonna have to force X here. Yeah, see, he was waiting for it. He knows right now. A lot of damage on Morgan. Actually goes for the raw tag here. He's gonna lose Doom for it. Ooh, I don't know if that was worth it. This is this could be Legend's game right here. I like not spending X Factor to save Morgan though. Oh, what a block! He gets out of the corner, he has a chance, but he's never going to get a chance. Living Ledge doing with the Anchor Akuma here. Yeah, finally able to get close enough to actually get in and find something. How's up, by the way? Coming through two months. Appreciate you with the Prime. Thank you very much. Let's go. So that's like the one thing. If Legend can get rid of Morgan here, I feel like he has a good chance. But you got to get through it, man. And that's really hard to do, especially with Wesker, Dr. Doom, or Chris, my bad. Okay, good shot. Oh, H on the way down. Follow up the missiles here. This is big damage. Yeah, it was especially unfortunate too because Wesker had a pretty clean hit there, but knowing that the missiles were potentially on the way just makes you rethink the entirety of your combo. Yurikov coming through with the bits, my homie. Appreciate you, man. You know what time it is, Yurikov. Let's go. Time for this infinite, and then this is good. It leaves a meter positive right now. X Factor, five bars, Strider in the back. I think that put that was cross Oh, no, yeah, it could have been. Just by the way. <laughs> you know how it is. Sometimes when you dash in the corner, you put yourself just far enough away to where Doom will cross up just as the foot dive hits and then go back to the same side. It's like it's if you do the dash up forward, yep. he's behind you by the time that foot dive comes down. Almost had them both here off the assist call. Chris able to get away. Or if you do, that's the Tampa Classic. Just foot dive, dash, foot dive. That, perfectly timed for a cross up. That shit's fine. It's broken. Yeah, let's, be, let's keep it real. <laughs> Or deleting the VOD, they can't know. They can't, nah, it's still good. Tried and true, brother. There we go, throw out the fireballs. Chris is in ship range here, and Vodra's gonna seal it. <laughs> and he got he got meter off he the dead body? The body, it still took meter. Bruh. No, dude. Why must the good die young? I cannot believe it drained the dead body. That's crazy. Her evil knows no bounds. Here we go, gonna get a hit here. No, too little. The beam goes right over her head. I can't believe we've been playing this game for this long 
and I still am learning new things. Dead yeah. characters getting juggled by Morgan still drain me there. It's still like twice today, even with Tony Kill's burst time in the uh, Wesker's uh, super call tonight. Like, yo, that's why this game's amazing. There's always new stuff to see. Here coming through with the 100 bits as well. Thank you very much. As we try to go for the DP, it'd be really risky and aggressive. And I mean, I respect the aggression. But unfortunately, it is not quite enough. That is going to be three games for Escalante. But three to one, you know, Legend. Switching back to switching off of the counter match uh, was a little. It's weird to see that work. <laughs> Look, I'm back for Tony Killer. <laughs> Y'all bet against Tony Killer? That's crazy. DXP has 20 against Remora on Mario. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy because Tony wins when he wants to win. I'm bet on it too. Okay, let's see it. Clash of the Titans here. Now start has to back off. Tries to go for the snipe. Doesn't hit anything. A little unfortunate there. Wasted the meter, but has to spend the X actually. Still want to take that bet, DXP? DXP's talking to you, brother. Oh, bro, I definitely, I definitely like Tony Killer. Say less, bro. Said never mind birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Tony will let you have a character or two just so you can make the bet with me. All right? That's how it's going to work. <laughs> Mario called this shot before this, too. In Twitch chat, he said, I'm going to win this one for my brother because Tony beat him. Look, you can't beat Tony when you want to. You beat Tony when he wants you to. All right? <laughs> That was a good block, actually. Wolverine needs to be careful about how aggressive he gets. No, he oh, doesn't. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's oh, game man. over. Oh, Mario action? He did call a shot. That's what I'm talking about. So now, DXP, let's bet. Now we can bet because Tony let you have that game. All right, I got $20. $20 here on Tony Killer against DXP. DXP, you can pay me when you get the TNS9. He teleported. He's behind you. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Nothing personal. Good God. Double OTG just because. We're snapping, huh? You know, I don't like that idea, but, you know, like I said, you can't, you can't underestimate a genius. Thought to assist, works out beautifully with the Wolverine. Not gonna be able to get the kill, but is gonna spend the meter either way. <laughs> <laughs> Ryu took one for the team so you could live. Round trip comes through, tries to get the standing heavy a little too far. Oh, I think he thought the web ball was gonna hit. Fortunately, they're already committed to trying to go for the Spider Man. Just barely dodges the, out of the way of the super. Here comes the swords. No way. A little too far. Actually gets the drop, but the reset comes through. I don't know why I'm on the edge of my seat when I watch Tony play, when I know that Tony decides the results. Much too oh. far for that one, but here comes the super. Still is able to block. Somehow avoiding the situation twice in a row. Unfortunately, loses the character, but Viper comes in. A couple of trades in a row. Air hit, doesn't get the conversion. I respect that to get out of the corner, though. Mm, dashes up, clips the legs. Real Street Fighter stuff. I've seen the strategy from Tony before, where he loses Viper on purpose so he can build a meter for himself, so he comes back with Wesker. So he's got the glasses off, right? All right, this is not the best strategy I've seen. <laughs> this isn't Tony's best work. Look, all right? Look, God can't be right all the time. I mean, he made you, so. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> all right, all right. Look at that. Made him spend the meter. 
Oh! Well, X gonna look for a different hit, it seems. Wet Ball gets tanked out by Viper, but Viper starting to bleed at this point. Need to be careful about how you call her. Got him. Almost had him both there. Snatched him. Jesus. I thought he was going to have to spend the bar. I forgot he had no TG. He said, no I am troll. not going to launch her again. <laughs> Push block to Mario. Gets himself some room, but Rapid Slash hits very high. Get, cash it out. Spider-Man's out. Yeah, I would have still bet here on Phil and Phil, you know? That's how confident I am. Jump S. Optimal. Follow-ups into the super. There you go. Tony's on the board. The late DT to give him I hope. He ain't. <laughs> I thought he messed up, but I was like, that's Tony. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Tony Killer is the story of 2024. He can stop playing today, and we'll talk about him for the rest of our lives. It's like, it's like if he stopped playing today, it's like Derrick Rose. Like, what could have been? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Where are my basketball fans at? They know what I'm talking about. Okay. I mean, full loops. Doesn't matter how, uh, how much help we got for Ryu. Easily able to close it. That's up for the mix. Oh, got crossed up in between. Now, Tony didn't get crossed up. The game got crossed up. Odd decision from Tony to let that hit him. JC, <laughs> <laughs> couple times in a row. Nice block. He said anything but Wolverine. <laughs> Okay, Spidey, how far can you push it? Now, he can't do the same reset against Viper as he could earlier against Virgil. Viper does have some air mobility. Oh, a little fanciness. It's one more. No, he missed. I don't know if that's going to work. Now, as soon as he touches the ground, he is safe. <laughs> oh, raw launcher. <laughs> How did he block that? <gasps> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Tony Killer, baby! Oh. That's how he blocked that! Dude, what a cross up! It's even! I told you, bro. That's why I had no doubt when Tony was down 1 0. I was like, DXP is offering money. It's like, I can't lose 70 tonight. <laughs> oh. Yes, you can! <laughs> he lands an auto block, turns off. This is the same way Luigi went out, by the way. Luigi was up two to zero, and then Tony Killer brought it back. Cause that's how Tony plays. He spots you two games. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, no, a little too early on the cancel there. Hard tag. Were you getting hit though? Look, he didn't drop the combo, all right? That's part of the plan. Look at this. Look at the plan working out. So is X. That's one character down. It's unfortunate that the game miscalculated the damage and forced Tony Killer to use a meter. Oh, no way. <laughs> it makes it look like an overhead. <laughs> oh my God. How's that hit people? Every Virgil player in the chat is like, why doesn't that work when I do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not Tony Killer, that's why. One more character to go. Mario might be sent packing here. Oh, no. Oh, but opportunity arises. You know how Tony does, bro. You know he likes to keep it close. He Toss doesn't it. like blowouts. Toss it. Is this an Evo restream? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's like, I'm not buying. He has on. X, bro. Don't go near him. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he didn't have X, I don't think Mario's going anywhere near Tony Killer, bro. Oh, 
Okay. All up to this. The Wesker comes in, still has X, two bars available. So Tony's going to super X Factor, <laughs> and then he's going to kill him. <laughs> I'm glad you guys understood. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> Animusha, I can't actually see the future. Tony sees the future and tells me what it is. No. <laughs> That's our regularly scheduled Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Just that first hit there is able to, you know, avoid the uh, avoid the Buster. Definitely good, especially in Sogenmu. Anything that you do that deactivates Buster for zero is a huge win because you buy so much time for yourself. Even like uh. You have to think about it from like the, the macro perspective too. Even zero teching a throw gets rid of Buster, so even that is like a net positive a lot of times. Oh, for sure. Going with the low here, good blocks from Amora. Ooh, okay, got the counter hit and gets the throw as well. Wakes up standing light, I like the idea. Ooh, but the problem is, is you gave zero too much help. Okay, little Yuli action, he TK knew. medium light. He knew. He knew. Okay, air to air reset, plus the release off the age, looking good for Memora here. And that's like the one thing you don't want to ever let happen. You never want to leave zero with pixel health, because this always happens. Powers up 10% speed boost. Yeah, legit, dude. Gets passive buffs. Back to work, is able to dash away. Couple missiles connect. Actually, saves him even more. Keeps him in the air a little bit longer. He said, hey, I'll spend one. It's well worth it at this point. Oh, okay. Getting a little bit on Dr. Doom as well. Yeah, dashing in the stalking player, though, not the worst thing. Being able to take a little bit of that damage away and get rid of the, the power of the sun. Save yourself a headache. Close the distance with a foot dive. Gets the throw. OTG. It out. He knew. Meter management. Very good from Jason Kiddo. X Factor there at the top. Virgil getting hit. That was your chance. All right, now he's loose. Rising jump medium. Interesting choice there. Does end up working out, though. I just, Virgil for the most part. I just love what Jason did right there again, man. He's flying, and he knows Virgil's above you, and he's getting out of Helmbreaker's way. Yep, as much damage as you can as fast as possible. Here we go. Chucks the round trip. X-Factor's out. Consider that a win right here. And Jason Kittle still has his, so he can activate it at any time. Two hits for Amora. Three, depending on what type of hit it is. And now even more hits required. Every time we spend swords, makes it a little bit tougher. Shortens the combo. Going after it. Okay. Nothing there. Forces X. Yeah. Now you got to watch out for the flame carpet. Okay, off the tri dash. A little fuzzy card action right there. Ends up falling into it. Definitely tough. That's true. Tony versus TJ again. <gasps> oh my god, that's going to be so sick. <laughs> Bro, that's going to be so sick. Sorry to reminisce about Tony mid game. I just can't stop thinking. About we get the run back. Nice, ah, crouching heavy. Gets across. Rapid slash doesn't connect. And Two again. rare misses. I think Ramora was surprised at the fact. Hard tag. Okay, getting away with it there. Getting the mare in though. Now you gotta watch out for the lariat. Let some spin. Gets hit. Yeah, okay, no punish. High low. Pretty easily blocks everything off of that one. Jumps up, looks for the pipe, too far away. Remora not going to let that one go for free. Gets the conversion. Whatever it takes to get the mayor out of here, man. You've got to spend whatever it takes. All right, same side. Look for the H on the way down, but nothing there. And actually Ooh. gets it the second time. A little no-look action from the human, uh, the robot with the human face, excuse me. OTG comes through with the loops. Going to get it started. Dormammu goes down. It's going to be all up to Magneto. And he put on a pretty good show last game. You know, was able to clutch it. We'll see about this. I, I expect us to tie this one up, man. There's a lot of work for Magneto right here. Look also, at the trade and the stare. Well, it's not one of the supers already. Here comes. Good push blocks. And I already like what Ramor is doing. I mean, other than getting hit right here. But you used the Sogenmu here to, like, nullify some of the time on the X Factor. So he's playing it pretty smart. Oh, I thought he was going to look for the throw Ooh. there, and so did Ramora. He whiffed Pizza Cutter because he's trying to tech a throw. But the Ivo anti air H. Oh my goodness, Jason's just back in this. Dude, the launcher is so sick in that spot. 
Sounds like if it's oh. standing heavy, it's not active enough. I like the idea. But Remora liked the idea, too. <laughs> Lands with the jumping light. He's like, thanks, Jason. Damn, even it up. He, al he almost came back with that Magneto. That's up for Crash Ooh. Light. Man, it's just a get both. Rapid Slash actually messes up the combo, though. Yeah, that's very unfortunate, because that could have just easily been all up to Dormami right there. But here we go. We're back in. Off the Rapid Slash. Good look for Momora here. Look for the H Lightning. Trying to stop the air evasion from Jason, because he knows he can get out of that. Wow. Yeah, knew the missiles were coming. Almost spaces it out correctly. Great game knowledge to recognize that there's a chance to convert that. Oh, Dorma or Dr. Doom taking a lot of damage. Storm lands. I think he thought he had time to swing. Crouching light a little too slow, though. Zero is able to get the better of that one with the crouching medium. There we go. Let's see how the right side is for Momora right now. Looking pretty good from the left. Has a few loops. And he is good. <laughs> I love, he said forget about Dr. Doom and goes straight after Zero. Most of the time, most people will take some hits on that assist. Uh, that was not what he was looking for. Try to close it out. There we go, got the photons getting connected right there. Brings in Virgil, this could be it. Oh, drop at the top, but Hagar has no X Factor here and Ramor is going to take game three. More looking pretty good in those two wins right there. Looking very strong. It does my heart good to see people's first time chats hyping up Tony Killer. As they should. That's how you need to start your momentum here at TNS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, here we go, man. Jason Kiddo answering back. Very strong here with Magneto now. Yeah, first time we've really gotten to see Magneto get it done early in the game. It feels like Magneto has been uh, some uh, anchor action, man. Yeah, for the most part. He's been the comeback kid. There we go. Now you got your charges. Oh, Dr. Doom has to eat all of that, but no, no didn't OTG. Okay. Team Super doesn't quite get high enough. Lands and goes for this Brawl tag, actually. I think he was going to go for Launcher, but Remora lands with a jumping light two foot dives in a row to fix it. That's so brave against Hagger, man, because you already know a Larry can pop up any time, so he had to hit him pretty needy. All right, here we go. X-Factor got the DT activated. Jason Kiddo getting out of there because you do not want to deal with this. Stocking player to slow him down. The right call here. Talk about didn't get much. That's underneath. Finds the low. Yeah, yeah. Easy X Factor. There's yep. a lot of scaling off of that, so you have to do it here. Otherwise, you're not going to kill. There we go. Doom all by his lonesome here. No chance to be able to find anything, especially with the X Factor ticking. That's going to even it up. And on, K uh, on Kiddo. Mag Magneto did all the work, man. It has it been all Magneto all set. Yes. Every game that has been a victory has been mostly carried on the back of the Magneto. I mean, rightfully so. Hagar does not get very much value into Zero or Hagar. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, side switch almost had it there. The only one that's surprising to see is that Dorm just has not gotten any value. Just the stocking players. The stocking players is really what gives Magneto the edge to get the, uh, the offense that he wants. Go, should be enough for Ramora. Looking good there. If we're going to keep the consistency, that should be the end of the game here. But we'll see if, you know, if Kiddo has something to say about it. He does not. <laughs> At least not yet. <laughs> <laughs> At least not yet. OTG all the way to the wall. I mean, it's one of those things. If you get rid of Dormammu and it's all left to Hagar, I like Ramora's chances. I've seen crazier comebacks, but I don't know if we're going to see one of those today. It's still Marvel. Anything can happen, but still. The chances of zero full squad, yeah. Never mind, Hacker got really good chances. Fortunately, missiles came at a timing where he wasn't able to adjust. Mashes on the Lariat, goes for the super, has to go for the X-Factor to get away. <gasps> get him out. I, I love what he tried. He was trying to get out of the way of the missiles there. No, Super Jumper's killing so much time there. 
Oh <laughs> my god, he catches him somehow. Two mix-ups. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? <laughs> uh, he just lands. Body crush. Gonna chip him on the way down. Oh, <gasps> what a block. Still advantage Ramora here. Oh no, and a whip lariat. That should do it. Luckily, Ramora. No! Oh, he's so lucky. There was a little bit of the swords left. All it takes is one pipe. Oh, Chip at this point. If he can just get rid of round trip. Instead, he just gets a dimensional cut. That'll do it. Wow. Whew. Scary Nail biter, stuff. right? <laughs> Jesus, man. That's a great set. Banger top eight so far. This has been good. Oh, here we go, dude. Oh, gets the round trip off. Almost gets there for the heavy. A warning shot. Oh, look at that. Of course she would super there. So random. <laughs> that almost hit Hulk. X, try to get the low. Good push guard, though. Oh, look at that. Try dash right into a throw there. And the most optimal assist. I think my favorite thing is that Tony has Viper combos, and his execution is clearly good enough. He just wants, he just wants OTGs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those air throw conversions are not easy, you know? His execution is clearly good enough. He just It's a, a really conscious choice to use these OTGs. I, lo I love that. Oh, good burn kick over hard drive. <laughs> Nooch. He is like... Oh. Okay, TK into the hard drive. Take what you can get. Take what he'll give you. Hey, I've seen that mix up somewhere. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, hard drive could still drop potentially. It's always a little risky. Sentinel does kind of suck. This time it is going to work, though. Live to fight another day. Oh, a pixel, though. He said <gasps> it's his game. It's oh. Tony's game, bro. <laughs> Tony decides. Oh. All right, the game messed up there. That's all right, though. <laughs> the game corrected itself because this is Tony Killer, baby. I can't believe you thought it was over. DXP stop betting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! There's no way that happened! Look, not only is Tony Killer a god in this game, bro, and the determiner of all fate, you know, this guy's trying to fix the economy by taking DXP's money and redistributing <laughs> it. He's also a socialist, all right? <laughs> You think Tony has seized the means of production? Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my god, what a crumple and the side swap. Oh, he said he waited because he knew a happy birthday was coming. He knew. He gets both. Oh my god. That would have been sick. That no! is sick! Oh my god, Tony! <laughs> Holy shit! <gasps> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? That oh. would have been sick. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? This is Tony oh. Killer. He command throw him oh. into the Viper Super. <laughs> that was <laughs> That was doomed. <laughs> that. Oh. I've never seen that. Bro. I've never seen that. <laughs> of course you've never seen it. You've never seen anything Tony has done. <laughs> Tony has forgotten about more Marvel than you can ever hope to achieve. <laughs> oh, my God. What is happening? Hi, <laughs> 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 TJ. What's up? 
<laughs> TJ, like, you tell me, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Team M. Bison. You're right. Team M. Bison coming through with the sub. Tony appreciates oh you, brother. Oh, my God. Dude, no way Viper's alive. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have to actually snap uh, Virgil to the back, bro, <laughs> and kill Wesky. <laughs> it's his worst anchor. I don't know if it'll help. What's it really going to do? Sentinel goes down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. What I thought I knew about Marvel, I do not. I Did don't. you see that down <laughs> teleport? That so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All day, you've got to. All right, no Viper on the planet can come back against Hulk Hagar so long. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. Even for Tony, that has to be too much. Yeah, that's too much. It's all right. <laughs> oh, my God. You need a Tony compilation? Tony is the compilation, bro. Every time he is playing, it feels like an M1 mixtape. <laughs> I feel like a Tony compilation would get demonetized on YouTube. <laughs> okay. You've made a dangerous choice here, TJ. You're going to leave him down to just the Wesker? It was very unfortunate because TJ played so well. <laughs> I don't feel like he had a bright future ahead of him. <laughs> and that's the game. That was such a smart up back. He doesn't X. He said I hit him again. He said I don't need it. Oh, he's so going to X here. He has to X here. He's going to X here. Because he's a genius. He only does the optimal thing. And if he doesn't do it, oh. it's not optimal. <laughs> oh my. Uh, same side. Same side all this is like a horror movie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Wesker's in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> this is a horror movie, like, sponsored by Smith and Wesson, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he blocks that. He was already <laughs> jumping. He knew. He knew. He has enough for level three. He oh, he it. dropped on purpose. He dropped on purpose. Bro, can... He needs you to know. This feels one-sided. <laughs> oh. Okay. Tony heard me and was like, let me even this off. <laughs> gonna make it interesting. Good God. Damn. You know, real talk, real talk. No means I think Tony's gonna go after this game, after this match, and he's gonna practice that level three setup, bro. <laughs> he <has to laughs> he's gonna do it a million times. Hey, and everyone dropped that again. Too easy. Oh, well, that's because Tony already knew which side of the TAC was gonna go on. Does his rapid sauce have invincibility? How do you pass that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> This Virgil's literally different. <laughs> super, super to buy yourself some space. It's not <laughs> enough, bro. Damn, well, how did he get there? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Oh. Is he going to miss still? Does that work? Yeah, it does. Yeah. He had to spend so much to kill Virgil, though. No way. Are you kidding me? And a conversion. <laughs> oh, my God. No Mystique. He's mashing. No! <laughs> this, is, this is all part of the plan. You thought he was mashing? You thought he was mashing? He was baiting, bro. He was fishing. 
getting hit from the drone. Not too worried about it. Couple burn kicks in a row, no big deal. <laughs> Right. All down to our one true hero. Look at him, like he's buffering. He's like, hey, I'm gonna teleport, you know. Psych. Yo, Tony! He said I know how to beat armor, bro. Anytime I want. Oh, it's over for him. It's over for him. Tony's not playing no more games. Oh, anything now. Shoots oh, him again. Oh, my God. Tony Killer. Tony Killer. That's where one L because he just handed TJ the other one. All right. You already know. You're watching this fall on TikTok, Tampa Never Sleeps, so YouTube, Tampa Never Sleeps. You're probably watching some YouTube right now. <laughs> so, follow us on TikTok. Legend's like, let me try that, bro. <laughs> I was thinking about Tony. <laughs> I just can't even watch other people play Marvel. <laughs> it, just, uh, it hurts. My ribs hurt from laughing. <laughs> Oh, nice low. Good job. Good <laughs> movement. We like that. Gets a snap. Oh, yeah, same side. Same side, strong stuff. There you go. Cook up that Akuma. Definitely the right decision to go for the snap there. You want to put him in the uh, the most isolated spot possible. Commander Redfield, not the one for the comeback. For sure. Here we go, man. Got the Sogenmu. Should be a few more Akumas out of here. Got him. Yeah, me too, bro. This is, this is hard. Words are hard. So again, you again, looking for the frame trap, but yeah, decides to snap there. You got two frames, might as well. Missiles gives him advantage, though. Swords into the teleport, Helmbreaker, good push block. Oh! Wow, math that with skill? the $200 contribution to the match arena. Jesus Christ, we are playing for bread tonight. All of a sudden, crazy, man. Thank you. That's the first time I've ever said thank you to math in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, uh, Tony Killer, thanks you for the donation. <laughs> Damn, bro, thank you so much. Seriously, that's crazy. True, that's not bread, that's cake. <laughs> right. Okay, let's recenter. Let's talk about Marvel. Let's go on with I just hope you don't have to play Tony, bro. <laughs> Dash up, gets the connection. That was a very odd choice of buttons on that grounded block string, but we take what we can get. Bro, I forgot there was other Marvel going on. <laughs> All right, a few more right here. So good mood, just the DP. Should be enough to get Chris, yes. Okay, a little tricky stuff. Super comes through. Yeah, made in the image of Tony. I like using that super there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> he says, this is Tony's dance, not Phantom dance. <laughs> okay, goes for it again. Does get the kill on zero, actually. Okay. For the media age. Okay, definitely a good call. That's the only thing you could get up there at the time. Oh, from the super jump. Oh, great planks to get in uh, position to get that. Super. Oh, yeah, no. best super. I love that hard knockdown. Here we go. Thanks, Nick Bad, for the one cent contribution. <laughs> Nick Bad, you're, you're so dumb. I love you, though. Yeah, big love. Big penny. Instead big. of doing a penny into the match arena, just bring, just bring me a penny. A TNS that works. That works. There you go. Cook up kill. Very nice for Mora. <laughs> Got that done once again. Two games straight. I need to catch my breath, bro. <laughs> Teacher lady coming through. Appreciate you, as always. 28 months. For bringing us the truth. That's wild. That's just to get aggressive. The stun baton hits above him. Forward heavy actually connected there. Interrupted. 
Jump over, threatens with the guns. Nice up forward into the throw. There we go, got the Sogan move, pushing in the corner here. That should be it for Chris. Isis Sarah, is that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> That, that was, was super very tricky. <laughs> that was very tricky. Oh my god. Nice pickup though. <laughs> Shout out to the best. <laughs> the Pout Swap King, second place. Trades with the sweep. Dashes back to the ground. Clean move. Remover is moving very fast. His he movement is. is good. He's on it right now. He's off it. Oh ye. Here we go back on it. <laughs> nah, man, this is good for Legend right here. Getting rid of the zero is huge right now. Hey, look for the light on the way down. Just a timed a little too early here for Legend. Look at the unfly. Oh, okay, what a crouching age here for Legend. Okay, unfortunately ends the sequence in a way where he wasn't able to go meaty, so he was able to just super jump away immediately. Now, locked down to the pressure once again, tries to take a press in the gap, but there's not a big enough window. Frame is not quite there for Wesker. Doom's gonna get hit. No, it does not. Gonna force X. That was a perfect, picture perfect bait on the DP Super from Remora. Actually perfect. Ends his block string, teleports to the exact correct space. That is three straight games for Remora. Well played. He said, congratulations. You have to play Tony Killer. <laughs> Is that there's not even a surgery for what I have because my problem with my left eye is a problem with my uh, it's sending data to my brain. It's like a brain connection. Wear issue. an eye patch. <laughs> You're right. I'm just gonna wear it. Get our next match on. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that in the YouTube edit. <laughs> Let him try and guess why I'm dressed like Akashi for one second. <laughs> <laughs> you can look cool. Go through with the S, get that clean hit on Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> this is it. Good follow up here. Get the OTG. And that is going to be a kill. Escalante losing out on the Morgan. Dragon right, though. Harang wore an eye patch for no damn reason. <laughs> True. <laughs> Snap. That up here. Ooh, oh, javelin. And I like the dash and the foot dive, and that actually works out if the timing on the javelin is a little bit different there, but it's just too tight. Same mm. situation again, and this time it's a cross-up. That's like one of those little Mundek classic little cross-ups there. With the light, look at it, he's faking it now. Bro. Makes it think the other way. He's everywhere. <laughs> just like that, that should be the end of the game here. Mundek, that might have been a perfect action because he hit him quick. No, not quite, but still. It's like a pseudo-perfect. We'll call it. Oh, yeah, it is there. He took, he took like one jab. Just a crazy round. Oh. The boy Mundank himself. Start. Dash up. Trying to delay a little bit. Astro Vision activation. Okay, Escalante doing a little bit better this time, man. Got the Astro Vision going. No, was that half health? Dash cross is definitely good. A couple times in a row, just trying to stay right above him. I like the idea. She can't really do much from right there. All you can kind of do is call missiles at that point. And, and that's a risk. Hit the launcher on Doom. Just chooses to back out afterwards. Ooh, almost had it with the age. Looking for the chip. It's very close. Hard tag. Easily punished for Escalante. I think it was maybe going to be a DHC there, but instead. Things go a little astray. A couple juggles. Tries to go for the soul drains, but the spacing is not quite right. It's very particular. It's also a lot slower than regular. But, I mean, he's looking good right now. West, or Spencer's taking a lot of damage here. Unfly. Kills Doom. So worth it. All that meter, all that life. But, unfortunately, Nova dies right afterwards. Still got EM Disruptor. That might be too far away. Oh, he tried. He wanted a uh, jawbreaker there. I respect the idea a lot. Definitely a good, a, a good concept to be able to go for, but couldn't quite find it. I mean, right now, it's it feels bad because, you know, X Factor's running out here. You did it in level two, and now you're up to your Magneto. Now, the nice thing here is that, oh, my God. That's all I need. 
All right, it's going to have to go for the hard knockdown, though. A lot of times what we'll see is we'll see them go for the spike, and then they'll go for, a, uh, like, a fadeaway mag blast. But no, he's just going to take his damage. And it's enough! I, I thought I didn't think it was going to be enough. I think you have to at that point. You can get the mirror match here. Monday's going to need maybe two hits. What? That is not what was supposed to happen. One more. Oh, there we oh. go. Escalante tying it up right now. <laughs> Terrifying potential end there, but it does get away. <laughs> What's up, oh, coach? Oh, man. You know how fast you have to be to outrun the super, bro? There we go. Start the Astro up for Escalante. Monday doing it, trying to stay at the top. I like the pulse up there. But, I mean, that's a win if you're a half health right there for Escalante. Look <laughs> the casual fly to the other side. Okay, tries to set up for a landing here. It's going to have to commit to a human rocket punch or tag soon. Astral Vision going to make the tag very painful if it does happen. So Escalante delayed a little bit just to wait for it. Oh, does yeah, manage to get out. I really like what Escalante did there. He didn't throw a soul, soul drain. Yep. He just jumped up because he was expecting possibly an arm. Dude, look at it. Of course. Oh, he's going right after Dr. Doom. You got to save that man. Oh, had one high low opportunity. That's a great up back. Oh, in the air throw, but here come missiles. the missiles. It chips and kills him. Oh, what a call from Escalante there. You just got to be careful, man. Don't get your Dr. Doom killed. The tech at the top. Okay, missiles on the way down. Converts that. off of him. <laughs> wow. I don't like it. <laughs> One more. Okay, TAC, good block right there from Mundink. Definitely a very aware of the situation. All right, look for the grapple on the way down. And yeah, yes, absolutely. they're too fast. Multi-hitting. Spencer has to eat that. The best crouching guy in the game. Easy, easy. Dude, look at the staircase. Almost was able to get a convert there. Maybe could have got a DP. Oh, no, not like this. Getting two for one. And just like we saw before, now it's down to the mirror match here. One meter and unfortunately having to come in blocking the incoming, but otherwise advantage Monday. He could frame trap the X Factor if he tried. <gasps> he had him. Yeah, he did. So close. Matt Glass on the way down here, trying to get the positioning above. And right now, Escalante says, get me out of the corner with the X Factor. What a confirm from Escalante here. So smart to be able to structure it that way. Finds the touch. And like Escalante said, he said it in the chat earlier. He called his shot. He said, I got to try hard now. Did he do? $200 in the match arena from Matt. Put the try hard pants on. Absolutely. And we got TNS next week, so you already know, man. So confirm from Monday here. Get into the corner. Definitely going to get the kill here with Spencer in the back. Got the maneuvers. Should be enough. DG definitely strong. Gonna have plenty of time for the tag, and now the setup. Magneto gets away. That's a really good dash out from Escalante. Yeah, confidence is key in a situation like that. Off the load of the missiles. One of the missiles. Air to air. H. Okay, good guard. I think it's looking super comfortable, and again. Tries to sneak in that overhead. Good defense from Escalante twice in a row. He's able to block the instant overhead. If he gets the hit, he earned it. He 100% earned it with that defense earlier. Yeah, absolutely. I love going for the super early. Just cook him. No reason not to. Got the guard. Blocks. Oh, what a throw. Oh, was that planned? Okay, does manage to escape here. X Factor ticking down. Bulbasaurus Rex, I see you, homie. Appreciate you. Photons, can he get it at the top? Yes, he can. The air to air is nice. Two meters. Just got to finish the combo. And just like that, game five is a reality. Dude, back and forth between the two. Escalante's Morgan has been dominant. I want to see Mundank throw everything at her immediately. Rocket punches, X Factor. If you get Morgan, I think you have a huge advantage. Even if you have to spend everything, and Escalante does it. Oh, he's going to the Strider. I don't think he's going to the Strider, bro. I think this is a bluff. Maybe. 
Ooh, Ooh. gotta lock it in, huh? <laughs> he he right. waited. He was like, Tonga, say something. He said all in. <laughs> he said all in. I will see if it pays off. I mean, if Doom dies, like we said before, it is another way to be able to stop them from just super jumping and chilling away from your uh, your stuff. It also is another decent option to be able to stop the shield uh, from stopping the missiles. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you can swap for uh, Vajra there when he's sitting up at the top, so he can't do that the whole time. Okay, good jump out. Looking for the EM Disruptor. Oh, Nova's going to have to go for the hard tag. We've seen this a couple times, and it feels like every time he's had to take a really defensive hard tag, the game has just not gone his way. And that's why Spencer had to block. But did you call an assist, though? Yes, you did! Strider is out of here! So is Morgan. Oh, this might be all over for Escalante here. Yeah, try to swap, not working. <laughs> <laughs> That's underneath, goes Ooh. for the high-low afterwards as well, just because, not gonna kill, but the TAC might be able to do it. Can you break this? No. Just like that, now you have to watch the infinite. No, he actually just goes for the knockdown. Now, Escalante with X Factor on his side still does have a chance. It's not a good one, but it's there. Ooh. That'll do it. He can get through it. Now, wasn't able to navigate that all the way around. Oh, out of the corner. But X Factor running out quickly. Thought the missile was going to hit him. Didn't fully commit. Chip will do it, and there's Butter Gun. That is the longest range Butter Gun, bro. <laughs> no way. Yeah, mid-screen mix up there, no problems. One more rep, we're gonna be able to kill with one super, actually. Does not need the level three. That's very huge for Escalante, because now it's one touch here. Oh, he got it, no! Oh my god, Mundank didn't want to pull the trigger in case it was bait, but Escalante drops the combo. Oh, had the hit. We could be looking at TNS9 finals right here. I don't think that's a lot of coming. Oh, oh, it's just like that. Oh, no! Back. He's still in it. Chip will do it, though. A blocked arm ends the game. He, he knew. Oh, he baited that, too. <gasps> he got it! That's it? Escalante wow. clutches it out with the Dr. Doom. The slimmest of chances. All right. It's finally time. Ramora must be shaking in his boots having to go against Tony Killer. And like I said, don't ever, ever discount Tony. Like, look, I'm not even the slightest bit worried, all right? Because you've seen this too many times already. You know the one thing I noticed is DXP didn't want to bet you. I know, right? He said he got this. Oh, genius! <laughs> no, the missiles are coming against the crumple high level. I mean, he's in because he's beating everyone. <laughs> it's Tony Killer we're talking about. Yeah, did you see that? <laughs> Do you frighten him? Of course you I, I do. Am. You're Tony Killer. Oh, he foot dive finds its mark still, but he drops the combo. The jitters. He, Ramor doesn't go for the unblockable there because he knows Tony has those. He'll block that. Nothing is unblockable <laughs> against Tony Killer. He will block that. <laughs> it's just not worth going for. <laughs> that was the fastest Phantom Dance I've ever seen. <laughs> Missed everything off the hard tag. That was actually a pretty good conversion for Ramor, though. Let's give it up to Ramor. He's learned a lot from Tony Killer. Okay. Needs to find a way to build that one bar. Yo, start. this is Marlin cake. This is the Marlin bakery, bruh. They open 24 hours oh, a day. Dude. What is a full schedule? Remor is mashing foot time and he's getting killed for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah, burst time just kills. The last hit of this is super so high scale. Yeah, I was gonna say. <gasps> Lamore gotta be nervous right now. So let me X Factor so I have a chance. He's got DT on, he's got swords on. You ever seen somebody spend so many resources? Fear. And Tony lets Ramar get the first one. <laughs> he got the fear of Tony in him. I think Tony should get that one, but I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, sometimes the game makes mistakes. <laughs> there you go, standing heavy. Nice for Ramora. Okay, and fixes for the missiles too. I like that. Paul says first game's data. That doesn't apply to Tony. He already knows. <laughs> <laughs> He's the whole database, bro. Like I said, Tony has let almost every opponent get two games on him first. Just so you know. Shoot, he even let TJ get three. <laughs> and still eliminated him from the bracket. All right, here comes the problem. Problem solved. Warlock Blitz, thank you so much for coming through with the sub. Gus McButts, I thought we already agreed to that last week. <laughs> Snap combos on Tony for shame. After all Tony has taught you, Ramora. Two games in a row for Amora. Can he overcome the Tony curse? Look, I'm everyone not, that's gotten two on Tony first has lost. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'll keep it real. Uh, I only use Rocket Punch because I want to be more like Tony Killer. All right, that's the truth. Nice OTG drops it though. That was actually super clean wow. for Mamora. What a fix. Oh, not clean enough, though. <gasps> not clean enough. Mamora, lucky Tony didn't clean save. Opportunity for another happy birthday. Almost got there. No way. I like this. Okay, a little unfortunate situation there after the rapid slash gets the hit on Viper. Tries to commit to the Helmbreaker. Too meaty from Remora. And he gets the TAC just because it's gonna be all down to the Wesker. Oh, I see you. I mean, it's going to be all down to Ramora's entire team with X Factor. Let's see if Ramora can win here. <laughs> okay. Ramora does have a slim chance. <laughs> it's not looking good. Oh, you got to do the jump light the forward age. Don't you tell Tony how to play this game, bro. Just because the game messed up. I gave that throw to Amora. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> and Tony's run is over for the night. Fourth place for my homie Tony Killer. Thank you so much for entering the bracket again. All right, Ramora with the blessing of Tony Killer by his side. Should be able to pull this one up against Monday. Closes the distance, goes low. I mean, all night has been the instant overhead for Monday, so mixing things up. Turn out some results. It'll be all up to the Virgil. See how he deals with the incoming. The same side, he's getting cooked. Oh my Ooh. God, the curse of Tony Raw. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
one touch is all it takes. The momentum builds up, and Monday cleans house. That's how he always plays, man. I mean, it's just the happy birthday. It happens right away, and the game can be over. Okay, Buster for the anterior is definitely strong in that spot. Gets the jump away. Looks for the instant overhead, but it's way too far from zero at that point. I'm trying to get a touch on him while you slap the Silk Enmu, but, I mean, Monday does a really good job of avoiding all of it until the end right there off that Buster release from Remora. Let's see, he was getting a little fancy with him earlier. Tony was powering him up. Yeah, he was. This time he's going to keep it simple. Make sure he gets that kill. Nova down. Going to tag back into the zero for the optimal mix-up. Nice block, but cannot block everything. But that's through. Great side switch from Amora here. Should have Spencer dead to rights here. Just got to land a few loops. The curse of Tony. Kill it. Like Yo, and one more. There it is. What an answer back from Amora in this game, too, though. What an answer Ooh. back from Monday here. <laughs> Straight into level three. I really like that. Spend at the beginning of the combo here, and you're able to go and uh, pretty much do the rest of your BNB, but Ooh. drops. X Factor trades with a DP. Does he hold Buster with light? So I think during the X Factor there, you he can swap. switch. He tried to swap right there. The, uh, <gasps> level three whips. No. Has to X Factor. Two meters, almost three. Jumps up to look for the throw. Can't quite get there. Missiles not going to find their mark. Oh, so hard to deal with. Missiles are coming down. Look at the chase down here. X Factor is running out for Monday. And Hope is too. Oh, maybe he thought more missiles were going to come down there. He wasn't ready. Doesn't get the kill on zero. That's so unfortunate. Could have just gone Shockwave. Okay, that's a good start. Get the jabs, get the kill. We still have the bars here. One touch off Dr. Doom should do it. Okay, air to air age. Can't convert though. Okay. Yeah, he got that. That was a great cross under from Memora right there. No, he dropped it. It's safe though, off the photons. And there it is, the foot dive and it's tying it up one to one. Definitely good for Memora. Had a, had a little bit of a scare, but unfortunately that drop from uh, from Monday just put him into a Sometimes it's your game, sometimes it's not, man. Yeah. A spot you really can't come back from. As soon as that drop comes through, gets the throw. Here come the missiles. Plenty of time. No, doesn't quite get there. At that point, you're just doing that for Oki. You might as well. Missiles adjustment. All right, awesome from Mora. Pushing to the other side here. Mm. Okay, one more shit. Do it. There we go. Ramora looking very strong. Like you were saying earlier before the match started, he's on something with his movement right now, like literally playing out of his mind. And this is definitely the character you want to kill here. You already got Sogenmu. Spencer, get him out. Yeah, Spencer not even going to get a chance on this one. And Infin that's, Infinite's that's, not a bad game. That's the way you want it, though. I see you guys talking about Infinite. Infinite's not a bad game. There are some things that are weird about it, but it's not bad. We just don't play it. Yeah, exactly. But it's not bad. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, Magneto should have been in it. Ultron is fun, okay? Ultron is pretty dope. I, I'll keep it real with you. Stan, jabs are kind of dope. Here we go. Monday, get back in it. Yep. Game of Disruptor. Oh, wow, that push, that push block ended up... With a guard break? Teleporting him to the wrong side. Oh! Gets the reset just because. Here's the level three. Cross second was a fun game, too. <gasps> he blocked the foot dive, had to X Factor, and still gets punished from it. What an S from Mendank here. Look for the cross underneath. Bet everything on it because of the launcher. He wasn't able to get any kind of follow up pressure. Avoids everything, though. Oh, he did blistering swords, too. There we go. Oh, but yeah, can't avoid forever. I thought he had fired all of his swords when he super jumped up there. That was very close. No, you can choose when you want to shoot him or just deploy them all. Yeah, I thought when he jumped up there, I thought he just <laughs> he was just he was he just hitting it. I thought he fired them all. Yeah, <laughs> not quite there though. Still fine. Two games for Remora. Back himself off. 
Couple flinks backwards, had the crouching medium, but there's certain characters. Standing heavy is more consistent uh, with Nova for uh, for comboing against a lot of characters, but against the smaller characters, or if you're very, very max distance, sometimes it can miss. Doesn't it force stand on hit? So it kind of hits, the, makes the maybe. hitbox go a little higher. That's what I always thought. Standing heavy, maybe, I don't know. Crouch medium definitely does not. Yes. That'd be sick. That would be too good. But speaking of too good, Zero on a tear right now. About to take care of this Nova here. Matter of fact, I think Nova's standing crouching medium. Ooh. What in God's okay. game was that? Incredible cross up there and is able to fix it with a rapid slash. My God, that was dirty. And another game where Spencer might not get a chance to play. Yep, One Spencer more. Cook puts into a terrible spot here. All of the Magneto five meters. He's gotten away and gotten a chance to fight every single game. Ooh. But this time, it's just not going to be the same. That is going to be Remora. Should be able to finish this up. Two bars already built up. Is going to build the level three. Love it. Level one. Keep it simple. Get out of here. And there you go, Remora. Is going to get it three to one. Monday definitely playing pretty good. But I mean, that's just the strength of zero. That first hit, it snowballs into, I mean, everything else. Yeah. It just gets messy so fast. Also, if you don't like oatmeal cookies, you got some growing up to do. Oatmeal raisin cookies are the best. Foofy TV with $10 as well. Everybody got $10 now. <laughs> you heard, they heard it was for Tony. <laughs> they were like, oh, hold up. You know, I cracked the piggy bank open. Grand finals, winner side Escalante, bro. Ooh, great confirm off the shell kick. Very aware of the missiles, though. Yeah. Find that launcher just back straight off. Doesn't have the bar yet for Astral, though. Does just manage to build it. DXP is down over $100 in actual bets. Colossal Cactus coming through with two gifted subs. Thank you so much, Omi. Appreciate the support. But yeah, DXP is down over $100, and he's still trying to bet. Saying in the chat he needs food money. Right, 1 800 get help, brother. <laughs> He's going to be like, last game, you want to bet on first hit? 1-800-GET-HELP. <laughs> they got a whole hotline just for you to stop betting. MJG Pimpin' with the $10 as well, buddy. I see you. MJG Pimpin', my hero. Eddie Dean with $10 too. MJG, I see you, baby. I always see you. You know that. And ended up coming through. Because we got something in common. Pimpin', you know? <laughs> he said, no more Evo. <laughs> I got to take control. <laughs> Bro, DXP. Ooh. Back to the same side. Cooks the Virgil all up to Doom. Just gotta watch out for the foot dive, though. <laughs> if it said Tom sees me, I'm open a 40? That's crazy. Man, after my own heart. That's an NC special. Good movement there. Gets into the sweet spot, but Dash is back out of it. Maybe thought he was going to commit to the X-Factor at that point. Oh, no. That was not it. Oh, Ramora about to win it here. The XP lucky I didn't bet him, bro. This mix up clean. I told you. I always know. All right, Ramora trying to set himself up for this reset here. First game, he's cleared out for him. Even with the Virgil and Zero getting cooked up. Oh, falling down with the age, able to get the clean hit here in Astral as well. Good look from Ramora. Losing out on Morgan. Putting this nearly out of reach, to be honest. <laughs> Being just with the blessing of Tony Chiller. <laughs> Comes backwards, gets himself into good spacing here. Sets up for the Sogan move. Time to super jump, but no, he push blocks instead. The unblockable tags out he of it. He knew it was coming. For the air to air H, rapid slash coming through and cleaning out. Like that big trouble again for Escalante here. Missiles for the pickup. All up to Dr. Doom. 
I'm gonna try and keep it meaty. Yeah, that was so sneaky. This weird back turn stuff that he keeps doing, he has like had full control of it every time, and it's been a different variation every single time. He's been playing Tekken. <laughs> he's just That's all I got. <laughs> he's KBDing out. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Hooked it up though, two games straight. That is like two quick ones for Amora. Boy's on the perfect line right now. Trying to get that reset. One away. I mean that's true. Uh, Tekken and Marvel have a lot of uh, a lot of stuff in common. That makes a lot of sense. Zero incomings are just hell sweep, impossible to block. They are. Bro. <laughs> Let's keep it real. <laughs> Still building that meter here. A Morgan assist helping out, doing numbers right now for Escalante. Okay, good throw, good start for Escalante here. And because of the movement here at zero, definitely gonna get smoked. Three bars, almost four. Whatever it takes, man. Zero gotta go. I definitely like the little change there for Escalante and starting Magneto this time to meet the pace of Virgil, or uh, Zero. Okay, got the throw. Can you get there in time? Okay, going for the reset. Slick stuff from Escalante here. Hmm. Got three, but you can spend two, it looks like. I was going to say, I was thinking about snapping, but... What do I know? Morgan gonna set up for control here. It was what it looks like, but doesn't quite kill. Here comes the DHC. It's gonna be Virgil with missiles. Okay, you're able to get out. Lost the first half with push blocks to get away. Escapes the missiles as well. It's sacrificing Magneto, but it's well worth the sacrifice. Don't go save him. Okay, puts up the swords, looking to get it from the top. Almost did. Good spacing though, manages to get away. And the blocks out. Crouching heavy, actually. Maybe meant to be a push block there, but ends up working out in the end. <gasps> Kills Doom for it. Okay, now you gotta watch the Helm Breaker S. X Factor, there it is. Okay, and with no DT, was able to convert that. Here comes the DT, round trip. What an X Factor. Escalante, patience kills. That was so smart. Which for the perfect time to be able to get the punish. He had one shot at it, and it was right there, man. And he took it. Especially smart to go for uh, for S there, because I think that normally people will go for hard kick, but that looked like it was it was certainly too far away for the throw, and it might have been too far for hard kick. It has a huge hitbox, so you know you're going to at least connect. If you're going to commit yeah. to it, you have to go big. See if we can get any of these mag blasts started, man. That's a, give yourself some safe pressure on incoming. Yeah, or if anything, just put something in the way of Zero so he has to think about his approach a little bit more. Slow him down. Game Disruptor's definitely a good start. Shockwave, try to get Morgan in, slow him down. Definitely like you said earlier. Definitely a really good call. Standing Heavy actually anti-air shell kick. Somehow gets away, pops the X-Factor clean hit. He had to. He, he used his last air act right there. Otherwise, he was going to get punished fully for it. Look the distance, look for the standing light. Good dash away. Remora's defense definitely holding up as he holds up. Yeah, absolutely. Just got to go through at least one more bar in this Astral right now. Surprised he didn't go for the DHC there. I would have loved to have seen Virgil come in with the swords, but now we're going to get it this time. Okay. Goes back to the other side, trying to get underneath and not catch, and Dr. Doom's out of here. Pops the X from Ramora. Does get X Factor 3. The timing on that was definitely good. Looking for the Helmbreaker wherever he can find it. Tag gets him out of trouble with the air throw. Gotta love an OS Helmbreaker. Definitely gonna lose Dr. Doom for that, but you're still in it. X Factor is running out. You have level 3 also, so if Morgan has to come in. Okay, I mean, there's the threat of the hard drive. She can go for level 3. Yeah, he's not going to do that. And War didn't even look like it was a thought on his mind. Not going to be able to kill here. Got to go for sword loops. I think even with optimal loops, I don't think it's quite enough. It'll be close. Going for the reset and able to get it. And here we go. Remora reset in the bracket. Very smart. Recognizing that wasn't going to be able to kill. <laughs> DXP wants to bet so bad. All right, DXP. I'll take Remora for 20 bucks. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm up 40 right now. 
PXP <laughs> wants to give up so much money, bro. What game are you going to make him buy you on Steam when you're up 60? <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect amount. Bruh. <laughs> Coming off the reset here. He's going to go back to starting Morgan. I'm surprised to see that because the, the Magneto start felt like a difference maker for sure, even though he uh, ended up losing the set. Even though he got her in very cleanly, I feel like he built some momentum with her yeah. that last set. You know, and that's what he's doing. He has the confidence now to go in this with Morgan. Like that, the happy birthday off the shell kick and the soul drain. Doesn't get a kill on any of them, though. Does build a ton of meter for that touch, though. Level 3 for 0 is definitely a threat as we're going to go for the snipe. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah, but now you're down three bars yeah. here. And, you know, Dr. Doom's going to get that health back. I was thinking maybe it was going to be an X Factor to try and capitalize, but didn't really have a way to, unfortunately. And Zero dies in this, as an assist. That's even worse. He didn't even have to do an incoming mix. Look at it. Just going right after him. Heavy though, goes for the X-Factor, trying to cap this momentum, dashes underneath, trades in the end. Still fine with the DT, looking for the box jump. No, Ooh. instead it's just Rapid Slash, but Missile saved the day. Oh, I don't know about that hard tag, definitely gonna cost right there. Cross underneath, <laughs> able to get it, that's too strong, here we go. Past the TAC, didn't have the meter. Oh, ends up mid-screen, but that's a great adjustment. Not quite good enough though. Fortunately, after the infinite drop, now is susceptible to bullet hell. Does get the stall in the air a little bit. Vescante goes up to meet him. Look at the chip. Doom is dead. I love the strategy there. Get your health back. Virgil doesn't have the X Factor. Chip him out and get out of this game. Towards really the only possible option here. Good dash back from Escalante. Oh. And all of a sudden, a little bit of life from Remora. He's going to have to reset. Same side, able to get it here. <gasps> Cross under last second for Remora. Yeah, I was trying to hold up and get away somehow. That's going to be Remora getting that clean touch. And spins the super somehow clutches it up. It felt over. It was just the brown trip was able to hold him up just long enough for him to get there in time. DXP willing the bracket in the direction. <laughs> he's... He's just, he's, he's right the script now. 1 800 get help, bro. 1 800 get help. There's no way, dude. He said, There's no way I can lose five times. <laughs> oh, just 50 50s. You would think by now. <laughs> okay, Astral. Hanging out underneath Zero. I like that. I like the aggressive positioning in that spot. Especially knowing that when Zero comes down, if you're that close, he's going to have a hard time calling missiles. To see Ooh. now at that spacing, full screen, he calls missiles. No consequence. Has Buster. Knows he can dash up. Gets so much room just for free, just off the positioning. Absolutely. Needs to build the meter here. Got the assist on deck. Yes, you do. Here we go. Got to still get Mooloops. And Morgan smoked. Okay, good dash out. Missiles at the top, though. Got to remember, Esponte can call an assist from the top. Mm, pizza cutter into the crouching light. Just like that. You know, the command dashes to zero are extremely strong. You know, you can literally get to the other side and put your uh, opponent in the corner so quickly. Start with the lightning. Only needs one session of the loops. Dr. Doom, not oh. long for this world. Another one of those rare occasions where X Factory might have made that mix up even harder to block because it does cancel your auto guard. Yeah, for sure. And you have to be in the right spot or mash throw, whatever you can get, do to get out of there cleanly. Unfortunately, there's nothing to do to be able to survive that one. That's going to be two games straight for Remora. He's on a tear right now. He's playing out of his mind. His DXP's full. It is DXP's Just fault. Something Honestly, don't bet until the next time we have a stream. I want to see if he can continue the streak. It's like the opposite of Crouch. <laughs> Crouch medium gets the punish. Ooh. Wasn't ready though. So it doesn't get the full uh, optimal stuff. Doesn't get the dashboard for the hit. But the Magneto start. Meshalante, I really like this. As soon as he builds the two, you bring in Morgan, get her in safely here. Ooh, Shell Kick is the answer. Here we go. 
just like that, a huge difference maker. Shockwave being able to control that first instance of Astral so huge. Definitely need the speed of Magneto sometimes. Not that Morgan's not fast. Magneto can just do what he wants in the air. Just tap Doom on the top of the head. Literally. <laughs> He's trying to approach to make sure she doesn't pop Astral Vision, at least while he has a chance, and that one fireball hit allowed it. Okay, Super actually did connect, dashes up and gets the full confirm. Has X. Uh, if possible, you don't want to spend it. No, you got the three here, so you can cash. That's so unfortunate. I don't think I've ever seen Sword Loop drop like that. He gets a hard knockdown. She somehow falls in between the swords. That was some crazy Z-axis stuff. But does not matter. The missile's coming out and saving here for Romora. Going for the reset there. Trying to look for the light into the Helmbreaker. Oh, he got him. That's so unfortunate with your Doom at that amount of life to have to pop X-Factor 2. Almost had it with the hard tag. Just wasn't ready for it. Wow, and recognizing that he got the push block there. Was able to go to EM Disruptor, make the block string safe. Now the clean hit. All of a sudden, Escalante. Full control of the matchup here in Science of Life. We're not done yet. Game four on the way. It's two more, man. You get one, you can get three. That's definitely the truth. Fact of life. Yeah, it'd be like that. That's definitely pretty good. Trying to close the distance without being overcommittal here. The Morgan is just building a ton of bar. Already almost a two. Low and steady, though. Honestly, if Escalante can kind of go into Morgan with about two and a half, I think that would be really good for the next set of Astral. Okay, let's see if that hits the assist. Are we going to get that extra bit of damage? Does get that little bit. Look at the juggle on Doom. Half the life off the table and zero force to block. From the Soul Drains out there, trying to get a little bit of extra meter there. A bunch of hits adding up. Hard tag, okay. A little bit of meter for it, but ends up having to go for the super jump. Missiles interrupt on both sides. Goes for the Helmbreaker, only gets one. Good oh, well, spacing. Perfect way to save the homie, man. Real talk. And able to get the clean hit here with the shell kick. Looking good for Escalante, though. Helmbreaker doesn't work out. Standing heavy anti airs. And you got rid of Virgil. That is huge. Now you don't have to deal with him in the anchor position. Ooh, that was godlike with the cross under H, but here we go, punishing the hard tag. Escalante, one character away after zero from tying it up. Has to force it. Now you're just trying to weather the storm, but you know, you got another bar and X Factor. Yeah, you gotta get some kind of offense started though. Astral Vision activated again, that seals the deal. Check and mate, dude. Game five. That's that's some crazy resilience from Escalante. They come back from the reset. Here to tie it in this last one to take it to the five, like you said. Let it go, DXP. DXP just bet again. <laughs> He's things. like, please. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make a comeback of the century. Dive kick, not going to hit. Still find the lockdown. I like that up back. Another important thing that he's doing is when he goes for the up back there, he up backs and then he dashes up. He wants to make sure he still has access to the assist. You cannot call your assist once you super jump. Oh. Okay, got the throw from the top. You're a little too far away. Okay, able to get it here. Biggest part is you're building meter. Going for the snap. Going to bring in the dark anchor here. That's exactly what you want. Get straight for the low, and it naturally side swaps. TAC connects. All of a sudden, Escalante is going to be able to get the kill, build a ton of bar, set himself up for complete success. The Dark Anchor dying is enormous in this spot. He may level three when he gets to five, to be honest. But it doesn't matter. It's like you're saying, you want to go in meter positive off this combo here, so you have tons of Astral Vision to work with. <gasps> no way. Virgil's going to live. That one missile kind of saved Virgil. That was pretty crazy right there. I, that's nuts. 
all of a sudden the landscape of the game looking hella different here. Here comes the super and the DHC. Ooh, okay. And he's yeah, going to yeah, go to zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I was like, I'm like, I don't know why you're bringing Virgil, but zero is definitely the call here. I'm not quite able uh -oh. to land Astral activation. Able to get out, got the Astral started. Still have another one on deck here, but got to do something with this one. Ooh, Shadow Blade actually baited out the deep key in the attempt at the super jump there from Remora. Gets the fireball and tries to reset things, but the missiles are making things really hectic. I feel like Remora's got to stop trying to scramble with him. Okay, there you go. A little bit more bar right there. And the neutral that the guys are playing is kind of ridiculous right now. Yeah, the fact that they're both keeping pace, definitely incredible. Every fireball hits, that's a huge chunk of life off the table. Go another astral and disruptor. Yes, keep yourself safe with the fireball patterns. And now we have to start worrying about this. Look at the health on Escalante's doom. He has to be really careful about how he calls missiles. And you can see that's why he calls EM disruptor. It interrupts the counter punch. It's huge. Zero dies. That's a perfect counter call there from Escalante. The, like perfect moment. X Factor for both players. 17 seconds on the clock. At some point, you're going to have to pull Virgil in on your own. You're bringing in Magneto here to run away a little bit because he has you know, mo the mobility to deal with it. That's very smart. Gets the hit on Morgan. Dashes underneath to protect the assist. <gasps> uh oh, not like this. He was already in DT. Yes. That earlier call, man. Look at the clock, though. Tick, tick, oh, tick. No. Gets the hit. That might just seal it. Just block string. He's, he's going to have to X sometime. Oh, <laughs> that'll do it. The timeout on the lockdown. What a match, though, man. Ooh.